Hey guys, welcome back to another math lesson. Today we're looking at how to solve two-step equations. You did one-step equations last year. We reviewed that briefly. We've talked about writing two-step equations, and now we're going to solve those equations. You may be, this may seem kind of easy for you. This may seem really difficult. Um, fun fact, when I was in seventh grade, this was the time of year where I cried a lot. So I understand the struggle. So the idea of solving equations is working backwards. When we work forward, we follow the order of operations. So I like to think of it as tying a knot. When you tie your shoes, you go forward, or you tie a knot. Let's say tie a knot. You go forward, you follow your steps forwards. But if you wanted to untie that knot, you would go backwards. So the idea of solving equations is working backwards. Don't forget that adding and subtracting, and multiplying and dividing are on the same level of importance. So we're gonna treat them equally going backwards. So here's my example I'm going to work with. Negative four H plus six equals 30. There's my equation. Now, going backwards with my order of operations, adding and subtracting comes before multiplying and dividing. So when solving this equation, I'm going to first look for any adding or subtracting. What number is being added or subtracted. So in this situation, what number is being added or subtracted? So this one right here, this plus six, this is being added. It's plus six. Okay, so that was step one. We don't want to look at the variable. I'm going to say yet. So baby stepping into this, the number that we're looking for is the one not next to the variable. This is called a coefficient. So we're looking at this plus six. So the next thing I do, step two, I am going to do what is called the inverse operation or the opposite. Do the opposite operation on both sides of equal sign. So many students in the past like to draw a line on this equal sign so that we can remind ourselves that whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other because equals means the same. So if I'm adding six, what is the opposite of adding six? subtracting six. If I minus six from both sides, both sides, six minus six is zero. So we like to do this and cross them out. I'm left with negative four H. What do I have on the right side? What is 30 minus six? 24. All right, done with step one. Step two, step two, I'm going, or I'm sorry, step three. Step three, I'm looking for multiplying and dividing this time. What number is being multiplied or divided by? This is where we're looking at the coefficient. Now we're looking at the variable. Pay attention to the variable because when there's no sign, that's multiply. So I'm multiplying by negative four on both or on this side. 
So that's all I had to do. Identify that. Now, just like I did the opposite, I'm going to do the opposite here. What is the opposite of multiplying by negative 4? Dividing by negative 4. So step 4, I'm going to do the opposite. Operation on both sides. Oops, sides of equal sign. So again, keep it fair. On this side, I'm going to divide by negative 4. On this side, I'm going to divide by negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is equal to positive 1. So again, I can mark those out like it's a big 1 because if it's 1h, I can just put h. What is 24 divided by negative 4? Negative 6. Now, this is my favorite part about equations. You get to check your answer. So you should never have to ask, hey, Ms. Barnes, is this right? You should be able to know because you take this number, put it where H is, and work it out. So step five is check your work. Check it. So if I have negative four, goes up here, times, and I'm saying H is negative six. So let's check that. Negative six plus six, does that equal 30? That is the question. I don't know yet. I need to work it out. So now I'm going forwards in my order of operations. So I do negative 4 times negative 6 first, which is 24. So I get 24 plus 6 equals, what's 24 plus 6? 30. Is 30 equal to 30? So I know my answer is correct, and that is the beauty of equations. Let's do one more. All right, this one's a little different. If you have d divided by 4 minus 9 equals negative 3. What do you do first? We're going to add 9. So step 1, I'm looking for the adding and subtracting. So instead of minusing 9, I'm going to add 9 to both sides of the equal sign. Those cancel. I'm left with D over 4. Write all of your steps always. Always, always, always. I know you're going to want to skip to the end. You're going to want to do it in your head. Start practicing while they're easy so that when they get more advanced, you already have good habits. What is negative 3 plus 9? 6. Now, next step. I'm looking for multiplying and dividing. What number is being multiplied or divided by? I'm dividing by 4. This is D divided by 4. What is the opposite of dividing by 4, multiplying by 4. So I'm going to multiply by 4, multiply by 4. So this becomes 4 times 1, because this is a 1D, and then that's over 1. So 1 times 4 is 4. So you end up with 4 over 4, which equals 1. So we have D over here. What is 6 times 4? 24. Hey. We kind of had the same numbers as over here. All right, so D is 24. What do I have to do next? What should I do next? I need to check my work. So I'm going to put 24 back where D is. So I've got 24 divided by 4 minus 9, and I'm seeing if that's equal to negative 3. What do I do first in this equation? 24 divided by 4. So 24 divided by 4 is 6, and then minus 9. What is 6 minus 9? 
negative 3. And does negative 3 equal negative 3? Yes, it does. Okay. So that is solving equations. Last lesson, we looked at writing the equations. So now you're going to write them from the word problems and then solve them. Don't forget to check your work. You get to know if you did it right or not. So that's kind of cool. All right. I will see you guys next time. Bye.